before we can edit any HTML, we need an HTML editor. Um, it can actually just be a regular text editor, such as Notepad or WordPad. Um, something that you might want to look into is an editor that has syntax highlighting. For example, I use Adobe Dreamweaver CS6. I stay up to date with the latest Dreamweaver, and I have been a biggest fan of Dreamweaver since since I have started uh, almost 12 years ago. Um, you can also use Notepad++ or Gedit. If you like, you can even just go to Wikipedia and look up a list of HTML editors, and you'll get a great big list of them. Uh, each one's a little bit different, but for the most part, they're pretty much the same. Either they have or don't have syntax highlighting. I prefer that you have something with syntax highlighting. The reason for this is if you get into large amounts of code, it is a lot easier to organize and manage your code if it's slightly color coordinated. For now, it's not a big deal. I might want to look into something such as Notepad++ in the future. As you can see here, even in the demo picture, um, it does have some syntax highlighting. A lot of programs highlight differently. That's not a big deal. Um, the point is that it highlights. Take a look around. Again, even look at wikipedia.org under a list of HTML editors. And there's quite a few. Uh, take a couple minutes. Look for one that strikes your eye. Gedit is popular. Notepad++ is popular. Dreamweaver is popular. There are tons out there. A lot of people don't prefer any of these. Again, that's completely up to you. But yeah, take a couple minutes and look over which one interests you the most, if you're willing to pay. If not, get a free one. There are tons of free ones out there. And if you don't even want to do that, then for now you can just stick with Notepad or WordPad. Uh, we're not getting into any large amounts of code for a little while. So you've got some time to, to pick and choose which one you like.